Hello everyone, we are back with a new video for beginner traders. Today we will see how we can install and use the basic functions of the MT4 platform for Forex trading. Let's get started. First you need to create an account with a Forex broker and then create a real or demo trading account with the broker. We can recommend IC Markets as a reliable Forex broker. You can get a 30% lifetime discount on spreads and commissions if you register under our IB code 23649. Now let's go to icmarkets.com and register a demo account. Please make sure that you use your actual information in the registration as you would have to verify your identity later. After registering, you need to create a demo trading account with the broker. Once you have created the demo account, you will get the login details in an email. The email will also contain a link to download the MT4 platform. Click on this link to download the MT4 platform from the broker's site. After the download is complete, then run the exe file and install the platform just like any other software installation. Click on Finish After Installation. Then you will see a shortcut on your desktop to your newly installed MT4 platform. Double-click on the icon to start the program. Now you need to log in to your MT4 trading account. Login details of the demo account we created should be in the email you received. You need to have the server name, account number, and password. You will be logged into your MT4 account when you enter these details correctly. The market watch window shows the currency pairs that the broker is offering to trade. The navigator window shows your account details, indicators, and expert advices. On the right side, you will notice that there are four charts already open. Let's keep one and close other. You may change the colors and appearance of the chart by right-clicking and then selecting Properties. MT4 has three types of charts that include bar charts, candlestick charts, and line charts. You can select whatever type you like, you can also save the charts as a template so that you can use it later. If you want to use it as the default format, simply save the template as default so that any new chart opened will have that format. You can add a new chart by right-clicking on the required pair and then selecting Chart Window. You can add custom indicators to the chart by double-clicking on the required indicator. Similarly, you can add an expert advisor to the chart by double-clicking on the required expert advisor. 
However, you need to have enabled auto trading by clicking on the auto trading button before you can use the expert advisor. Let's look at the toolbars. You can view or hide the market watch and navigator from the respective icons. The terminal button will show you the terminal window that shows your current and past trades. You can quickly open trades from trading panel. Just click on the small triangle on the top left corner to open the panel. Then you can select the lot size and then click on buy or sell to enter the trade. If you want to open trades or pending orders with take profit or stop loss, you can use the order button from the toolbar. This will open a new window that allows you to open trades or pending orders with stop loss and take profit levels. Now let's see how we can add a new custom indicator or an expert advisor. Go to File and select Open Data Folder. Then click on MQL4 folder inside this folder. There is a folder called Indicators and also a folder called Experts. If you need to add a new custom indicator, simply paste your indicator file into the Indicators folder. On the other hand, if you want to add a new expert advisor, paste the EA file into the experts folder. Then simply restart your MT4 or right-click on any item on the navigator and click refresh. Then you will see the new indicator or the expert advisor listed under your MT4. Now let's see how to backtest an expert advisor or an indicator. Now click on Strategy Tester icon on the toolbar to open the Strategy Tester. Before starting backtesting, you may need to have the history data. To download history, click on Tools and then select History Center. Then that window will open. There you can select the required pair and time frame and then double-click to download the history. It might take some time to download the history data. After it is downloaded, the time frame will become highlighted. You can select an expert advisor or an indicator for backtesting. You can select the EA or the indicator, the pair, the time frame, and other details. Once everything is selected, simply click on star. Then you will see another window showing the EA or the indicator running for the selected period. You can also change the format of the backtesting window by selecting a template that you previously created. If you backtested an EA, then you will see the report after the backtesting is over. This ends our quick introduction to MT4 platform. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thank you, and see you around.